Hello Year 11s, the pre-release 2025 is out and I thought I'd make a short video about lots of different potential nine mark questions that could be asked in this paper. The main reason I want to do this is because I think it's a question most people lose most of their marks on because they assume it's really easy. They learn one kind of model answer and they regurgitate that model answer whatever the question. But the questions can change in the phrasing of them and therefore that has to influence how you plan that answer. Um, it's also the only question that has spag, so technically it's worth 12 marks out of uh, 75. So it's a really important part of that paper three, okay? So the obvious easy one, I've made a video on this. Do you think the Tidal Gateway project should go ahead? You write the answers, you write a paragraph for, a paragraph against, or you can mix the two paragraphs as what I call the balanced option. Um, you can see my video about this. It's basically the reason why uh, it should and shouldn't go ahead. It's really nice and easy. In the past, there has been some years where they just asked that simple question with whatever issue evaluation topic it was. Slightly more complex was this question. Uh, last year, it was the exact same question, except it used Tudley Village rather than Tidal Gateway. But to what extent is the Tidal Gateway project an example of sustainable development? And there you do have to talk about the sustainability element of it. Again, I've just uh, finished recording a model answer grade nine out of nine answer for this question. So you can have a look at that video where I go into more detail, but basically in essence, sustainability means you have to talk about the economic, social and economic sustainability of the project at different scales, okay? Alternatively, you could say discuss whether, or it should say the Tidal Gateway project will improve the UK's energy security. Slightly harder, very specific to this paper. Much easier if you studied research, as your resource energy, which is the case of students in my school. Um, I really like this question. I think it requires so much more awareness and knowledge of the content uh, because yes, it's a yes or no, but it's a little bit more than that. It's about the fact, uh, it's about talking the, about the UK's energy mix. It's about the talking of the fact that the UK doesn't have any title project at the minute. Therefore, having one would diversify that mix, make us re less reliant on gas, for example. Um, in figure one, one the top graph you might uh, remember actually shows the fact that we import about 30% of our energy. So we're quite dependent on foreign powers. Russia's invasion in Ukraine shows that we have to be able to make our own power ourselves to be more sustainable and more um, energy secure. Uh, so you could write the for and the against there. Yes, it is, it's important to improve energy security. However, it will have some impacts on local communities. You talk about the for and against for energy security national scale and maybe talk about the knock-on impact on the local scale for local people, okay? Um, to what extent do you think Tidal Gateway Project is a sustainability curse? I made my students do this as their past paper uh, practice. The, the word curse really threw them. Uh, curse is, this case is negative. And in pay, figure three, second, last page, you've actually got a box called um, blessing or a curse. And that's the box I'd start with. Um, and you have to say, yes, it is a curse because X, Y, and Z for the local people, the negative impact. However, you could say it's also a blessing because X, Y, and Z, okay? So it really is similar to the other questions, phrased slightly differently. Um, alternatively, you could just say, suggest reasons why the Morecambe Bay and Dudden Estuary project is a blessing. And it's opposite to the question about the curse. But in this case here, it doesn't talk about sustainability. It's for you to bring that knowledge of sustainability in, okay? Um, alternatively, do you agree that the Morecambe Bay and Dudden Estuary project is a waste of money? Again, a quote from figure three. I think it's a box above or below the blessing or curse. Use data from there. Tell me why it's a waste of money. Tell me how the money could be used differently. And also tell me maybe why it's a long-term investment. So there, for the waste of money, you look at short-term, long-term long implications here for different stakeholders, okay? Um, and in my opinion, the hardest question they could ask, they could ask it. Everyone in the UK, when they study eighth grade geography, needs to learn about the UK and changing economic world. And one of the concepts you learn about is a north-south divide. Um, one way is to bridge that north-south divide is uh, to what the government calls leveling up. It came up under Boris Johnson's uh, tenure. Um, it still is technically called leveling up, and it's the idea of bringing the north level to the wealth of the south. The bar and furnace, there's quite a few parts of the booklet where it talks about how deprived it is, how much ill health and poverty there is, how there's lack of opportunities and it, um, and employment in the area. You could say the Tidal Gateway project will bring that regeneration element to uh, that the otherwise very left behind part of the UK. Um, so it's much more technically difficult because here you have to talk about the lo local scale, national scale. You have to talk about stake different stakeholders. You have to talk about uh, levels of poverty deprivation, the concept of regeneration and gentrification. Much harder, but I'd plan it. So ultimately, my key aim for you guys is I don't think you should write all of these in nine, uh, nine markers in time conditions for practice. 
But I do seriously think you should plan every single one of these questions out because the biggest mistake students make is they learn the answer to the first question here. Do you think it should go ahead? Yes, no. And every, whatever the question, they slap the answer they've memorized word by word. And it therefore never meets the criteria of the question. And they always stop fall short of getting a five, six, nothing more than that because they don't really understand the subtleties of the question. So I plan for all of them. So you've covered as many possibilities as possible. Okay. But ultimately, when you do your planning, the biggest things you need to keep in mind is the different stakeholders. Who are the winners? Who are the losers? I've got a whole video on top tips for the pre-release section. But in the case of this pre-release for 2025, these are the, uh, the five main stakeholders. The NTPG, Northern Tidal Power Gateways, which has pro tabled a proposal and wants to build it. The Environment Groups, uh, RSPB, Cumbria Wildlife Trust, that look after the sites of other uh, areas with outstanding national beauties and the sites of specific scientific interest. The Government local national local residents who might vary in opinion and local businesses who might favor probably more likely to favor the the, the scheme okay so these are the stakeholders these are the questions to practice and make sure you talk about all these stakeholders in your questions i've got two videos showing you examples best of luck